This is old grandpa. I'm uh, doing a little video comparing the Game Master to my Astro Plane. Game Master is at 55 feet to the tip, and the uh, Astro Plane is 28 feet to the tip at the current time. I had to take it down the other day because of some wind, and we're still getting wind, so uh, that's where it is. I'm on the Game Master right now, and there's the Astro Plane. Back on the Game Master. Astro Plane, and then Game Master. Game Master. Game Master. Astro Plane. Astro Plane. Game Master. Game Master. Game Master. Astro Plane. Game Master. Astro Plane. Astro Plane. Game Master. Astro Plane. Game Master. Astro Plane. You can see how the signals vary. I mean, one signal might give me a equal uh, reading off of both antennas. Another signal uh, will show us substantial drop whenever I go to the astro plane. So, this is part of what old Doc's been talking about. At least, a lot, I guess, depends on the angles, altitudes, angles. Elevations, buildings in directions of the st stations are looking at each other. Just too many variables in there to use this for a reliable source. I'm on the astral plane right now. Here's the Grant Game Master. Astral plane, Game Master, Astral plane. Game Master. Game Master. I'll go to the beacon and see if the beacon, see if the beacon is working right now. That's the Game Master. That's the Astro Plane. Game Master. Astro Plane. 
European master. Astro player. Somewhere around twenty-seven one hundred. I mean, uh, twenty-seven one hundred. See, it's pretty narrow banded. That's as far down as I can go. That's about the loudest right there. I'm on the uh, astral plane right now. There's the game master. Now that that signal basically can't lie to you. I mean, there's not much you can argue with uh, about the difference there. That's it. 2, 2 dB difference, roughly. Not quite, but pretty close. Astro plane is a little over zero. And when I go to the game master, it goes up to right about two. Maybe a needle's width of two. That's somebody bleeding on me there. At those two two differences in height, it'll show you quite a bit of difference. So you can kind of forget about the voice signals I've been taking for a long time because they're almost meaningless. However, that's what we that's what what our antennas are keyed to is our voice. We don't listen to beacons. And when I two different stations, the seven stations I've been doing on the uh, paper test that I've been taking where I record the signals. I use seven of my regular guys on lower side of 39. And uh, by doing it that way, I get a variety of directions. And that shows the effects of maybe directions between those stations listed on that uh, report. So we get that variety in there. So you need a little variety. I mean, variables that people call them. We need some variables uh, in our testing so that we can evaluate uh, the effects of the variables if we can determine that. So at any rate, it's, uh, I'm going on eight minutes and I'm going to cut this thing off. Oh, Grandpa, Corpus Christi, Texas, broadcasting live and in color on the two-way radio. I go by the hand on Marconi on the internet. So uh, y'all come see us at uh, WWRN, WorldwideDX.com. That's the location of the farm that I am generally settled on, sell on sit there arguing and fussing and discussing about antennas and all other things. So we'll catch you later and I'll, I'll have another test or two down the road here and I'll get my old astral plane up there in the air where it's at least halfway equal to the uh, game master. And we'll redo the test and, and uh, I'll post that also if I, good Lord willing, the freak don't rise. See you.